Today we're talking steak. I'm gonna put Maiden's four different pans to the test to find the secret to which pan makes the best steak. Ah, steak. It comes in so many different cuts, from ribeye to skirt, flank to flat iron, and T-bone to tenderloin. But today we'll be using one of my favorite cuts, the New York strip. And here's what I'm looking for. The exterior should have a beautifully developed, deeply golden brown crust. The interior should be cooked to a perfect medium rare with a nice rosy pink center. Texture should be tender and juicy, never tough or dry. Well seasoned with plenty of kosher salt and black pepper, no steak sauce required. At Made In, we have pans in four different materials and today I'll be putting them to the test. Stainless clad, non-stick, enamel cast iron, and carbon steel. I know each of these materials can make a great steak, but for this experiment, we're going to establish a few rules. Each steak will be seasoned with kosher salt and set at room temperature for one hour before cooking. Each steak will be drizzled with vegetable oil and seasoned with black pepper. Each pan will be preheated over the same burner about medium heat until it passes the water bead test. I'm gonna cook each steak on one side for three minutes, flip it and cook it another three minutes, then spend a minute rendering the fat around the sides, gauge the internal temperature, and see how long it takes for each steak to rise to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll let each steak rest for 10 minutes, then I'll try them all and give my review. Then I'll cook them all again at the same time, bring in a special guest and see if they can match the steak to the pan. I salted these steaks in advance. You wanna let the salt sit on the surface for at least 40 to 45 minutes. That gives it a chance to draw up moisture and then actually be reabsorbed back into the steak. So either salt it pretty far in advance or right before cooking. First up, stainless clad. We're gonna preheat over medium. Meanwhile, I'm going to add oil and pepper directly to the steak. And I really like to add oil to the steak rather than the pan because I find that it starts to burn in the pan. So adding oil to the steak just helps cut down on that burning. Next up, non-stick. Enamel cast iron. This one may take a little longer to heat up. Carbon steel. I'm gonna let this heat up and get my steak ready. The way I'm gonna tell when it's ready is I'm going to perform a water bead test. I think this is such a cool test. The steak is going in. Three minutes. This is our lightest weight pan, so it's probably gonna heat up the fastest. I'm gonna go ahead and give it the bead test. It's already ready to sear. Three minutes on this side. It's been about three minutes, 15 seconds. I'm gonna do the water bead test. Usually we recommend keeping your nonstick about medium low medium and heating it up with some fat in the pan. But today's experiment, we're just trying to do everything the same way. I'm just heating it up first and then I'm gonna add the oiled steak after. It's been five minutes. Oh, there we go. We're ready to cook the steak. All right, three minutes on this side. All right, ready for the flip. Ooh. So far I've got a pretty nice sear going. It's been three minutes on the first side and now I'm gonna flip it. Hey! Not bad, I'm actually kind of surprised. It's got a lot of nice browning here. I'm ready to flip. Three minutes, time for flip. Ooh. We have a nice crust forming here. All right, it's almost been three minutes on the other side and now I'm gonna spend about a minute rendering the fat all around the edges. It's been about three minutes and now I'm gonna spend a minute rendering the fat. Rendering the fat just like the other steaks. Not really getting the same sizzle on the fat as I did with the stainless. I'm gonna sear it on the sides for one minute, just like the others. All right, it's been going for seven minutes so far. I'm gonna check the internal temperature and I'm looking for 120. This is ready, so I'm gonna pull it and rest it for 10 minutes. Your pan might look a little brown at this point, but don't worry, we have a video on how to clean them. And we also make a cleaner that'll get it looking just like new. All right, this is ready. I'll let it rest here for 10 minutes, just like the rest of the steaks. This is ready. Just like the other steaks, I'm gonna let it rest for 10 minutes. 
All right, I'm gonna pull this. Steak has been resting for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna get a nice cross section here. Got a rosy pink interior. I have a pretty nice crust on this steak. It looks really tender, really juicy. Seasoning's on point. It's rosy pink all the way through. I'm excited to see how the other pans hold up. We've got our rosy pink interior. It's not a solid, solid golden brown. I'm actually really surprised the steak was cooked in nonstick. I don't know if I could taste that in a blind test. All right, let's try the enamel cast iron skillet steak. Wow, the cast iron steak has a really crispy, crunchy crust, and the inside is so juicy and tender. Great beefy flavor. It tastes almost a little bit more dried out. It's definitely more crunchy, crispy, but we still have more to test. I cannot wait to try this carbon steel steak. Really, really nice crust on this. Nice rosy peak center. Let's cut into it. I can taste the crispiness when I bite into it. It has that nice crispy, crunchy crust. This one is definitely a top contender for me, but before I declare a winner, I'm going to cook the steaks again all at the same time in all four pans, bring in a special guest, have them try to match the steak to the pan and tell me which one is their favorite. All the steaks cooked, and I'd like to introduce my special guest, the most special guest, our co-founder and president, Jay Kalin. Smells delicious Come in here. Down. I choked on a steak once. I've cooked four steaks in four different pans. To what temperature? Uh, medium rare. So I'm going to let you try them one by one. Okay. And then you're going to match the steak to the okay. pan. Okay. Sounds great. Here is number one. All right. So what we're going to look for here is the crust on the steak. That's probably one of the biggest giveaways. This has a really nice crust. Fat's rendered out. Just take little bites. I would say this is the enamel cast iron. Okay. One done. Number two. Okay. Second one is on the undecorated dinner plate. This does not have the same crust as the first one. I'm seeing that it is a little bit more cooked than the first steak, so I'm wondering if like, maybe it has something to do with the pan being hotter and cooking the steak faster than the crust can develop. The fat hasn't rendered as much around. I almost wonder if you like cooked it in an oven, you know? There's like no real heat contact here, but I'm gonna guess this is coming on the nonstick. Okay, number three. Really nice crust here. Yeah, very even heating. I mean, if we're being honest, this has stainless clad. No, I don't even have to taste it. Mm, I think it's a stainless clad steak. Oh yeah, color's perfect. Everything about stainless clad is perfect. This is the best steak I've ever had. <laughs> Thank you. All right, okay, there's only one more. Last but not which least. Which would mean it should be the carbon steel. Let's see. Evenly cooked. It's actually a little more pink in the center, despite the fact the crust has already formed nicely, which makes me think maybe this is carbon, you know, because it gets really hot. Get a good crust quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm right. It's carbon. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> okay. Yes. Final answer. Yep. Feel good about this? Can I take a moment? I know I'm right about these two. I think I'm gonna make this switch. Final answer? Final answer. This is your reputation on the line. Yep. Okay, this one, Yep. you said stainless. Yep. It's actually carbon steel. Ooh. Directionally, the right side carbon of the stove. Carbon steel. Okay, this one, you said carbon steel. Yep. Classic, yep. Stainless. Yep. And... Fatal 
Mistake. Got your enamel cast iron here, and your initial reaction with the nonstick was correct. But. Well, thank you for giving me credit there. So I will say this. I am a huge fan of the stainless clad fry pan. I cook all my steaks in it. I like the carbon steel steak the most. Thank you for the delicious steaks. Um, you can't go wrong with any of the pans, really, especially when Rhoda's cooking. Thanks. It was really interesting to hear Jake's take on all of these steaks. He made that last minute switch of the nonstick and enamel cast iron. He almost got those. Surprised by nonstick. It did really well in this test. Got a pretty nice sear in that. And honestly, for a quick weeknight steak, that might be a great choice because it's so easy to clean. Enamel cast iron, really can't go wrong there. Stainless steel is really your workhorse of the kitchen. You're probably having a lot of stainless clad steaks if you're eating out in restaurants. But ultimately, without knowing it, he picked carbon steel as his favorite. This is the best steak I've ever had. And I have to say that was my favorite too. I think it was the crust on the carbon steel that really did it for me. When you run your knife along it, it makes kind of a, a crunchy, crispy sound. Evenly cooked interior. And at Maiden, we actually make this material in many other shapes and sizes. We have a griddle, we have a grill frying pan, we got a pizza steel. No matter what material you have at home, if you follow this method, you can achieve restaurant quality results. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want me to test in our four pans next. I'm Rhoda from Maiden and I'll see you next time.